I think that one thing to give KSI credit for is, you know, that like uh, rawness of uh, having never lost. Yeah. 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 Like having never been under manners, having like super raw. He's wild as well. And when you're a boxer, you're used to punches coming from certain angles. And this is when, like, Jake said to me, who do you think would win? I said, well, technically, you're a bit more advanced because you've been doing it longer. But when a guy is coming, like, you see his last knockout against FaZe, yeah. he went from a taekwondo stance, through an overhand right, touched him, through a diving in square on, left hook, and knocks the guy out. I was ringside. I was one meter away. It was a clean as hell knockout. If you'd asked me to do that, I couldn't do that in a month of Sundays. Right? But when he jumps in like that, would I have slipped in front of the uppercut and put him into their fucking third row? Yes. So... It's like, is he amazing against someone that knows what they're doing when you do that? Or is he amazing against someone that don't know what they're doing? Yeah. I don't know. So how do you spar for him? So what's the point in getting boxers into spar? No, no boxer's going to do that. You know? Is that, is, that not, um, is that not something that, you know, man to man? Is that not something then that you need to be aware of and you're going to prepare for? Because look, there is a world where if you said yourself, you start slow and he starts wild and he gets the energy behind him. And you know what? Like young kids are like, yeah, yeah, I agree. when they've got I money, agree, agree. training, they've got hype. He's coming in like fueled on his stupid Unlimited money for this camp. <laughs> Unlimited money for this camp. Exactly. He's, got the he's got David, he's got London shoot fighters, right? They're pr predominantly probably the best MMA coaching team in, in Europe. Yeah. Plus, they're incredible boxing coaches. They've been around 25 years. I've known them years. They, they were David Hayes coaches. Right, right for his last few fights, right? So they do Chisora, like they're proper, proper coaches. So he's got the best coaches he can get. He's got, I'm telling you, the best nutritionists he can get because those MMA guys cut so much weight to make to make yeah. the different categories. And I know he's super duper disciplined because one of my journalists I know from the Daily Mail said when Chisora lost his fight against Fury, KSI was in the changing room and they were all having burgers and they gave KSI a burger and he refused to have the burger. Yeah, they, me, I had a burger last night. There's something, there's something in, there's something in these kids, and especially Jake Paul and and KSI, where their discipline is actually really, really great. And I don't know whether it's the hype yeah. and the money and the fact that they've got all this social media presence, but their discipline seems to be great. So what do, what do you do then? It, he's going to come out wild. What do you do? Do you yeah. do you go into boxer mode and you just you know you palm him off and you and you and you you're smart and you're a boxer? Do you give him a bit of fire back? Like what's your What's your strategy? And it's not like it needs to be a secret because it's not, like you said, you're not going no. in and fighting Canelo, you know? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Look, I think he's going to get himself knocked out by accident. I okay. Think he's gonna, I think he's so erratic yeah. that I'm just, I think he's going to catch me for sure. I think I'm going to take some shots because I'm not going to be used to, remember, I'm fought in two years, so I'm going to be a little ring rust. And I think he's definitely going to land some shots. I think he's going to realize, though, that his shots ain't going to put a dent in me. And I think that will deflate him. He's going to land a big shot, crack, probably, you know, a bit of spit and blood and whatever else flying around. And then I'm just going to just smile at him and walk him down. And when he, and I've been in the ring with James DeGale sparring and I've done that to him. And he just smiled at me and he said to me, my ear, you're going to have to hit me harder than that. And I hit like a mule. And it just killed me. For the rest of the round, I was just so deflated because I'm like, that was my best shot. And he just walked me down. Yeah. And I think KSI is going to have to learn to live with that. And I think he's so erratic that, you know, he could walk on to something early. Like I told you, my game plan is see them abs that he keeps posting on men's health. Yeah, slightly hating on him, but still, I'm going to see what those abs are up to, up against. I'm a great, I go for amazing body shots, right? So I'm going to really going to work the body. He's a headhunter and I go, I'm, I'm solid to the body, so he should be yeah. really a headhunter. But I'm going to go down to the body first and I think that that will be the equalizer. And then, you know, we're not going to have a jab off, are we? I'm not going to stand there throwing jabs for six rounds. But <laughs> he, I think I, I think he's going to get. He's going to he's going to come in super explosive and just reaction wise. I just you know, for years of boxing, I'm just going to drop him with something. I don't think he'll get back up.